Have you ever wondered how to calculate the square footage of a circle? Steve Hansen here, co-founder of the janitorialstore.com. Say, so, you know, I had a conversation with a member uh, the other day, and uh, they had a project to where they had some hard floor surface uh, that their customer wanted uh, scrubbed and recoded. Well, the only thing was is that the area that they had to do was a circle. So. The example that I have here is that they had an area that was that was carpet with a large circle in that area. So, in order for them to give a price on their on their scrub and recoat, they have to determine how many square feet in that circle. Uh, so, you know, it's it's actually pretty easy if you just knew, know the formula to use. So, in this case here we have to find out what the square footage of is in that circle. So we have to take pi, which is 3.14, and we have to multiply that by radius, by radius equals the square foot. So in order to do this, we have to know our radius. So our radius is the center point of the circle to the edge. And in this example, in their case, their, it, their measurement was 26 feet. So we know our radius. So now we're, now we're good. So now all we have to do is we take our 3.14 times 26 times 26 equals the square foot. And the square foot in this case ends up being 2,122 square feet. So that's what we have in here. We have 2,122 square feet. So now that we know, <clears throat> now that we know the total amount of square footage in our circle, now we can go ahead and calculate a price for the scrub and recoat. So in, in this case, uh, the uh, our member decided to go ahead and charge their customer 18 cents per square foot. So you know, which is a fair price for a scrub and recoat. So that's what they did. Uh, so after they after they knew what the the formula was to determine the square footage of that circle, it was really no problem. It was just it was just knowing what that formula was. Again, all it is is pi times radius times radius equals square foot. So it's 3.14 times the radius, whatever that measurement is, times the radius equals the square foot. As long as you can remember that, you'll be in good shape. So. Well, that's about all I have for you. Uh, hopefully you found this helpful. And if you did, uh, please like the, the uh, click on the like button and share. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, uh, please do. You'll find hundreds of videos that are, will be useful for you to grow your cleaning business. And uh, we're always putting additional videos on. Uh, generally, we're doing about one a week. So always, uh, always uh, check in, see what we got. Uh, you'll find a lot of great information. So, until then, thanks.